Welcome everybody to Filmora Effects and today we're going to talk about my top five tips for Filmora 10. Tip number one. Did you know you can rename folders and add and remove folders in Filmora 10? I do this all of the time. It keeps me organized and all you need to do is to right click on the word folder, rename, and call it what you want. We'll call this one video. And down here, you can add another one. We'll call this one audio. And if you want to add another one, we can add it video two, for example. You can never delete the main one. There has to be one by default. So you can delete the other ones. So the main one that comes with Filmora 10 is this one. And it was just called um, folder you can't remove that one and you can rename all of the ones under your project media again you should really get in the habit of doing this let's say we're bringing audio in from a third party source you can store it here this way you can keep yourself organized put all of your media for this project under this folder structure and again I do this all the time. It's very important to keep yourself straight, particularly if you're doing a video over the course of two, three, four, five days or whatever. Uh, you, that way you can easily just go back in and say, oh yeah, this is what I was working on. Tip number two. Tip number two is the ability to change the height of the tracks. Very important. I also do this a lot. So let's just drag a random clip down in there from Filmora 10 sample videos. Now, I want you to make sure that you understand that when I drag this up and down, it does not change anything in the canvas. It doesn't crop it. It doesn't do anything like that. This is simply for your benefit, uh, particularly if you have a lot of tracks. It just makes them easier to see. Let's say you have 20 tracks in here. You can bring the track height down and all of them make them a little easier to see and let's say you needed to see one of them a little more than the rest you can just do that and again this is just for you to keep organized and to see what you need to see it does not change the project in any way shape or form it doesn't matter what you do down here it's not going to affect your video this is just to help you visualize things easier tip number three a ripple I'm going to put a couple down here to demonstrate. Make them bigger so you can see them. Okay, right here, this icon is Auto Ripple. It is currently on, but I'm going to turn Auto Ripple off. And there are definitely instances where you're going to want Auto Ripple off, depending on how you're trying to put your video together. But let's split this track right here. And go down there and split it again we'll delete that little section and it leaves a gap now sometimes you just want to leave a gap you need to leave a gap for some reason there's been many times I want to leave a gap um, but let's say that you don't want to leave a gap all right let's turn auto ripple back on split split delete boom instantly closes that gap Normally I leave auto ripple on until I know I'm at a part where I don't want it on and then I turn it off for a second and then I turn it back on again. So normally I edit with auto ripple on and again it's this icon right here. Very simple. On off. By the way, if you do leave a gap, how do you close it? Click in the empty space with your left mouse button. Click the right mouse button and close the gap. So if you've left a space by accident for whatever reason, instead of dragging and, and maybe accidentally overlapping the previous clip, just simply close the gap. Tip number four. Color match. To demonstrate, I'm going to put a hazy overcast day and a very very bright cherry blossom day. To make this color match work, decide which clip you want to match it to or from. 
Okay, so I'm going to place the playhead over top of this one. Choose this icon, Advanced Color Tools, and Color Match. Now, it shows you the current, and it shows you the reference. The reference would be the other one on your screen. Use this slider to pick a position in there that you want to match it up. So let's just take that hazy, and now, all of a sudden, the cherry blossom is in the haze. When you play these together, now it looks like something from the same area, like so. That's color match, and it is a tip. I'll call that almost a pro tip. I use this a lot in my videos. Um, it just really helps bring some things together that you may have filmed on different days. Tip number five. Filmora 10 has thousands and thousands of titles, transitions, effects, elements, audio tracks, etc. How in the world can you organize this stuff and find what you're looking for? There are a couple ways. Let's use elements for example. Just today, at the time of this filming, there's 1,312 new elements that they weren't added today but these are the latest newest elements that Filmora 10 has to offer this little red dot you're seeing means a subscription level and that happens to be for the standard subscription level which I have if you don't have a standard subscription level here's the tip this little underused options button you can choose free and eliminate all the things you're not paying for. So now you'll only see the items that are in your subscription level or are free or whatever you chose up here. Now let's say we only want to see the newest ones at the top so we can sort by new. So now we're looking at new and free. How about new and standard? Okay, Thanksgiving has just passed at the time of this um, video and so they put out a whole bunch of Thanksgiving style elements. You can also search. I notice a lot of people don't search in the videos that I watch and they spend a lot of time looking for things when you can kind of narrow it down. So um, let's say that we're looking for a pumpkin and they can just start searching uh, pumpkin and you may need to come over here and change your options, but there's some pumpkins. And uh, let's look for the free pumpkins. Do we have any free pumpkins? Mm, not yet. They're still loading. I think the pumpkins are probably going to be under the standard plan. So there's a pumpkin, and then you can just download the pumpkin. Under recommended, you can also group by category. This is similar to what's happening over here but you can see the icons at the same time which makes it sometimes easier to find what you're looking for. So if you want to search again by name so now they're sorted by name see cartoon, cartoon, channel, channel and under standard name Let's go to new. We can make the icon small if you want to see a little more at one time. I like to make them big so I can really see what they look like. And that's tip number five. Um, there are so many elements, effects, transitions, etc. included that sometimes you just have to get in here and sort or you're never going to find what you're looking for. This does not carry over from section to section. So whatever I put in my filter here is not going to be in the filter over here. So I'm trying to load these transitions in for you to show you that nothing is checked. Everything is the way it is by default. If I go back to elements, I have to start over again. Okay, so that 
this works while you're searching then once you switch out to another section uh, you have to redo your search that was tip five hope you enjoy those tips these are the things that I use daily dozens of times every day and uh, maybe you can get something out of that for your videos we well, thank everybody for watching Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications, leave me some comments. See you on the next video.